Now let's try to filter the tables to the tables that are only in our database in DVWA. So we're going to use the where clause the same way that we, we were using it before. So we're going to say where table schema equals DVWA. Hit enter. And we got an error. And again, the error is complaining about the quotes. So the website probably uses some sort of security that does not allow us to put quotation marks in the URL. And we tried to bypass that using percentage %27 before. And as you see, in, we couldn't bypass that. We couldn't, it, it, it was still detected. So we need to think of a way to write the database name and put it after the equal without putting the quote marks right here. So we need to say DVWA without the quote marks. And we can't really do that by writing the database name as text. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use burp suit and we're going to use the decoder part of it to convert the text DVWA to hex. Now the decoder is really useful in burp. Now remember when I was saying that the code for the quote is 20 percentage 27 and the code for the hashtag is percentage 23. Now you can just type it in here and then go to encode as and pick HTML uh, URL, sorry. And you'll see that the code for the hashtag is percentage 23. You can get a code for any text you want really. For example, if you put a quote, you get a percentage 27. Now what we want to do is we want to convert the text in here so that we don't have to write it between quotes. So we actually have to co convert it to digits. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert the text of DVWA to hex using the decoder part of burp. So I'm going to go here and type DVWA, that's the database name, and we're going to encode it as hex, and we're going to use this as after the equal mark. So we're going to use it instead of typing DVWA. So I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to type in 0x, now everything written in hex has to start with 0x. So I type in 0x at the start to tell the database that whatever that's going to come after these two characters is going to be hex. Therefore, I don't need to use quotation marks for it. And then I'm going to put the code that I got, which is 6476776161. And that's it. So we converted the database name to hex. I'm going to copy this exploit. Paste it in here. Hit enter. And I forgot to remove the single quote from the start because this is the medium level. We don't need the quote. And here we go. It's working. We got the tables that's only related to our current database, which is DVWA. And the tables are guest book and users. Now, every time you need to use a where clause, you need to use it the same way that we did it now by converting the name that comes in after the where to hex and use 0x without the quotes. And that way you'll be able to execute to select the columns using the this statement right here. Just make sure you remove the single quote and it's going to work for you. Now, because the tables, the select table statement worked and this statement will work because they're pretty much the same statement. The only difference is that this one selects users and the other one selects uh, based on the database name. So in this lecture, we've seen how we can bypass some difficulties we can see with SQL injections. And we did that by converting the text to hex and by playing around with the injection parameter. So try and set it, uh, add a quote, remove a quote, maybe try to encrypt it, use percentage 27 or stuff like that. Basically just play around with the parameters until you get it to work.